Typically brash and defiant, Venezuelan President Nicolas Maduro is moving ahead with his boldest move yet, annexing a large part of neighboring Guyana. While critics suggest it's a ploy to remain in power amid skyrocketing inflation, Maduro isn't backing down. Three months, he says, is how much time he's willing to give Guyana to abandon the area. This is posturing. It's a very dangerous posturing. Uh, he's changed the map, the official map of Venezuela, to include Essequibo. Essequibo comprises two-thirds of Guyana's territory. But it's this massive oil deposit offshore that both countries aspire to control. If Venezuela is able to annex Essequibo, it can then extend its territorial waters to include, that's right, the oil deposits. El poder lo tiene. As Maduro himself recently said, whomever has money has the power. And there's lots of oil money to be made, approximately 11 billion barrels, enough to make Guyana a top 20 country for oil production. Meanwhile, Venezuela, even without this new deposit, still has the largest oil reserves in the world. Oh, uh, Maduro is not only a bully, he's a dictator. He's a dictator to his own people and to the nations around him. The dispute over Essequibo dates back to 1899, when an international tribunal awarded the territory to Britain, which then controlled Guyana. It flared up in 2015 after the oil deposit was found. Guyana sought help from the United Nations through the International Court of Justice, which told Maduro to stand down while it considers the merits of the case. Maduro chose instead to hold a referendum, which he won handily, and is now going ahead with his plans, much to the dismay of Guyana. We will not allow our territory to be violated. If the situation escalates, Guyana could be in trouble. Venezuela is a South American power with over 125,000 troops. Guyana, by comparison, has a tiny defense force with only 3,400 active soldiers. And with each passing day, tensions continue to rise as all eyes are focused on this sparsely populated jungle and the riches it contains. Mike Trelay, Global News, Toronto.